Hi guys. And welcome. To the episode 23. Of series one. This what episode should have been made earlier this morning. But I didn't realise that until quite a few minutes ago now. Um So as you know Halloween is tomorrow, today's the thirtieth. And this, if you will, is my well, it's the Plonker James 2013, and it's the first Halloween special. Plonker Ween. Now, I'm going to do something I don't normally do to kick off this celebration. And that is, I'm going to show you an animation. Now, bear in mind, of course, that you'll see the same animation in the Halloween special of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show later on, tomorrow. So here's my little treat now to you. Halloween's upon us. That means lots of scary things are going to happen. Somebody here is bound to be terribly naughty. Who might that be? You naughty girl, Lily Rose Barat. What did you do that for? I didn't mean it. It's all good fun. For Halloween, right? No, for my birthday. Of course for Halloween, it is October the 31st isn't it? Yes, but it doesn't mean you can be naughty missy. Naughty? Am I being naughty? Yes you are. You're being very naughty, and you'll go to bed if you carry on. But mum, this day's about scaring people. So lighten up, it's not naughty to join the fun. You're just acting so religious about it. Where's my inverted cross? And you are a very naughty girl. How dare you mention inverted crosses in this house. We do not talk about the Antichrist under this roof. Go to your room, right now. You bad girl. There's no need to be godlike on Halloween for Christ's sake. Jesus. Mum just over. Ickle Pickle 69, set this room on fire and make myself immortal. I smell burning. It's a fire. And up in Lily's room. The poor thing. I'm fine mum. I survived it. That was lucky. Nope, I just made myself immortal. I shouldn't have said that. So, the truth comes out. You used a nickel pickle curse to set your room on fire and make yourself immortal, didn't you? That. Is. So. Naughty. And really evil. Reverse it all, right now. Or I'll have you arrested. Lily Rose Barrett. How dare you use a curse to set the house on fire, make yourself immortal and then murder your mother. You evil. <coughs> Lily Barrett. You are charged with murdering your own parents and arson. How do you plead? Guilty. Why did you do it? I don't know. Wonder Blunder 69, make myself mortal again. I find you guilty on both counts of crime, for which I sentence you to life in prison. Why did I have to turn evil? I hate myself. I deserve to be locked up. Wonder Blunder 69, turn back time to after I was sent to my room. I find you guilty on both counts. Lily, stop. Who are you? I'm you, from the future. After you turned evil, made yourself immortal, set the house on fire and murdered mum and dad, and I'm here to warn you that if you go ahead with this evil plan, you will end up in jail, wishing you'd never done it, and then, 
you bless yourself with a time travel spell, and come back to prevent any of these events from ever taking place, I'm convinced. I won't do it. Thank you, you're welcome. Wonder Blunder 69, send me back to my time. I'm sorry I was naughty mum. That's okay, sweetheart. I forget. Okay, that was the first time you've ever seen an animation in Plonka James. Now, Um, what's this? I think I can hear one of our little friends coming along. Oh, look, it is. If it isn't Greeny McBoing Boing. What? Your name is not Greeny McBoing Boing. Get it right or you'll kill me? Yeah, I'd like to see you try that. You should have known that wasn't going to work. Get back over there. Okay, now I need to decrypt some kind of source code that should bring the pumpkin curse about. Did I just say that or think it out loud? What's this? I think another one of our little friends is on his way. Oh look, if it isn't our friend, one tried to kill us, it's Orangey Brown Brown. What do you want? Your name's not Orangey McBrown Brown. Say it right or you'll kill me? Not this again. This is a no no, this isn't gonna happen. What has it done to that town, you bastard? Get back over there!
Oh, guys. What's this? Oh, not another one of our friends. Oh, look, if it isn't our uh, raggedy friend, raggedy Spiky McYellow. Your name's not raggedy Spiky McYellow. Say it right or you'll kill me. Not this again. Why are these guys threatening to kill me every time I say their names purposely right? Don't I mean wrong? <laughs> Did you really think that was going to work? Get back over there. Okay, now guys, do you want to hear a scary story? Because here's one that's absolutely 100% true. It's about the woods just up the road and uh, around the corner from here. You see, not so long ago, in those very woods, a young girl was walking one day when she came across a tram. And she went to see if he was alright. And the first thing she said to him was, Are you alright, sir? And all the tramp could turn around to her and say was, My. This freaked the girl out. So she ran away out of the woods to tell her mum what she had just seen. Now, when she went back into the woods with her mum a day later, the tramp was dead. So the mum said to the so, so the mum said to her daughter, maybe you just imagined it. And they went home again. Now Later that same day, the girl went back to the woods on her own and saw a transparent figure standing by the trees of where the tramp once lay. She figured it must be the ghost of the tramp, but she wasn't sure if it was. That was until the ghost put out a hand as if to take hers and said, My... This scared the girl so much that she ran home again and came back with her brother and they both saw the ghost and he once again said, my. Yeah. 
and they both ran away. Now, here's the strange thing about this ghost. The uh, strange thing about this ghost was he lingered around the woods for about two weeks and that's when the girl came in with her family and this time instead of a ghost there was a tramp in his corporeal form once again. They didn't understand what was going on, only the new corporeal tramp didn't say my, he said your. And they figured it must be a different tramp because if it were the same one, he would have said my. And so they all ran away. And from that day on, every time someone walks through Gundimore Woods, what they don't realize is that there's a tramp hiding in the trees, waiting to spring out on them and say either my or your. And that is basically the story, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said, it's a hundred percent true. He is the killer. Uh, Sorry about that, guys. Killer. Sorry guys. We're fast tracking away, aren't we? How about another absolutely true story? And it's set in the same woods. Now, one day, an unsuspecting traveller was passing through Gundimore Woods and his map wasn't making any sense because he had it upside down. Now, from what he'd um, heard, that from what he'd heard, a zombie was rumored to be living in those woods, and he'd gone there with his production team to film a documentary about 
the said zombie. The only problem was the only member of his team that went with him is his assistant. Sorry about that, don't know what happened there. It was his assistant. Now, he started to film him doing his documentary when the zombie that was rumoured to live in the woods sprang out on him out of nowhere and grabbed the traveller, who was also the documenter in this case. Um, and the, uh, well... I don't know how to do it justice really except to show you the story as it was originally told by me, by myself my brother Sean and my next door neighbour Clyde now this was from last Halloween so here it is and please be kind
Okay, guys, that was it. And that's it for this Halloween special. That was the story of Z. Yeah, actually shot that as a short found footage film. Needless to say, that was the story of the zombie in Gundymore Woods. And you saw me being turned into the, a zombie at the end. I left it open for a sequel, but it's unlikely there's going to be one. If there is, well, it won't be a direct sequel. And so that's it for this Halloween special, guys. I'll see you sometime in November for episode 24. Until then, have a nice time and enjoy this episode.